Look, man. What's happening? What's here? Tawa se wa masaku. Lo to mefika in Nadi area. Ka road trip ni 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 back at it again with another hangout. And I'm telling you today, I'm gonna be hanging out with one of my favorite people in the world. They call him Lewis Hamilton II. Um Semi Champions, because only at the age of 17, he has over 14 trophies and counting. Hey, your money. You've got to see it to believe it. We're going to be hanging out with Gibran Banks right here on the hangout at the Rivandio area. If you turn it to at least you my one and two. And maybe, just maybe, he might teach me a few things. Let's go. Hello, how you doing? Hello, Mrs. Isa. It's been so long, man. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing well. But why did you bring me here? Because the journey is absolutely crazy. I've gotten lost so many times. I yeah. actually almost gave up. I brought you all the way here actually just to admire the trees. You know, <laughs> my favorite part about this place is how many trees there are. Uh -huh. And it's so natural. So I that's think they're actually here. countable. If we take a look at the trees that we're counting, that's about one, a good two, ten. three. A good oh, ten. Fine. Yeah. Um, we're definitely here to admire the trees yeah. and uh, bird watching is where it's at. I, I, I can't see any birds, man. But how have you been? I've been good. I've missed you so much. Me too. And it's been quite a while, so I'm so happy to have you guys mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy to give some light to the sport and, you know, mm -hmm. spread some awareness about it. So what is happening right here? What are we preparing? So this is a, to put it in simple terms, go-kart. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, you know, what you would race when you go out with your friends, when you go out with your family. But it's just a bit faster. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's a bit more delicate, it's a bit more fragile. Mm -hmm. But the baseline is pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just a bit more fun. So how long does it take to prepare this before you get on the track? Well, it all depends, you know, if stuff's been prepared in the past. We've been here for, for around an hour now or so. Mm -hmm. Just getting everything sorted, getting everything really warm. This is David, he's my mechanic. Hi David! And so, you know, he helps me handle <laughs> quite a bit of that. Yeah. And um, yeah, once it's ready to go, which it is now, mm -hmm. get the track and get and some lamps done. And you've even got in your camera all bougie and all. Yep, everything, you oh know. Got goodness. to take some videos, send mm -hmm. it back to the coach, mm -hmm. get some feedback, you know, improving different things. Cause Every lap is different and you can never learn mm -hmm. enough in this sport. And you're quite passionate about this particular sport. Yes. And I want to understand Definitely. where exactly did this passion get ignited? I've always loved racing. Mm -hmm. I've always loved anything with an engine, anything with four wheels. It's just always, you know, attracted to me. Like even mm -hmm. from a young age, I'd sit in the car with Paps, and while mm -hmm. he was driving, it's just so. But when we're talking mesmerizing. about a young age, you're only seventeen. Like so nine. Awesome. We're talking like nine, you know. Mm -hmm. And you're watching him, and I just loved it all. Mm -hmm. And so one day, I called up a friend of mine, and I was like, you know, how do I get into professional racing? How do I do with that? And he said, the benchmark for all professional motorsport is with cars. Mm -hmm. And so started with this and competed in the championship and the rest is history. And there are a lot of trophies when it comes to the championship. I saw yeah. one on your Instagram page on the March 21st, if yeah. I'm not wrong. Yeah. And there was a really beautiful trophy right there where you were celebrating your wins. How many trophies have you won so far? Oof, I'm not sure. So I've only competed in one season so far mm -hmm. um, in karting. And I think so far every race I participated in, I got a trophy and I was on the podium. Mm -hmm. So maybe about 12, 15, somewhere there, 15, 16, somewhere there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've spoken about being inspired by seeing your dad actually driving. Yeah. Now I want to understand, how is the support back at home? Are your parents really supportive about what you're doing? And how does it maybe push you a step further if they do support you, that is? I cannot emphasize how grateful I am to have my parents' support because something like motorsport is so unpredictable and the seats are so few mm -hmm. and when I went to my parents and I told them you know I want to race and I want to do it for a living they obviously you know first they were a bit okay you know this is all a big change from going to uni and starting mm -hmm. off a conventional life mm -hmm. but they just backed me 100% and I know I definitely wouldn't be able to do it mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't be able to have the mindset I do now without my parents support hands down it's the biggest thing mm -hmm. aside from you know the card itself and all the financial aspects their support just means the world to me so that I'm so, so cute, grateful for that. man a big yeah. shout out to them back at home I'm so sure they are watching yeah and uh, there's a particular person that I 
I also saw on your gram I've been doing a bit of stalking. Oh right my there. god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my no! God. You have a stalker? <laughs> no, not really. No, not really. But of course, I saw a certain person. His name is Philip. You were in Dubai with him, and yeah. he plays the role of kind of a mentor to you. A little bit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I wouldn't say like a mentor, mm -hmm. but uh, I met Philip in Dubai, and he definitely coached me, helped me through some racing, through some laps, mm -hmm. you know, and he just showed me a, a, bit, a bit that I didn't know. Because mm -hmm. when I got into this sport, I was so new, and there are not a lot of people willing to help you. There are not a lot of people willing to show you the ropes. So he was very nice. He showed me some tips and tricks that I still use till today, mm -hmm. and they've definitely gone a long way. So yeah, he was kind of like a coach to me, and, mm -hmm. and I love him lots. Mm -hmm. I have a uh, coach in the UK mm -hmm. who uh, I'm sure will be watching this as well, yeah. and he's also been amazing, you know, always reviewing my footage, just always there to help with mm -hmm. his full heart, so mm -hmm. it really takes a whole team to make something like this happen. Yeah. And when I take a look at your look, I yeah. see a bit of Lewis Hamilton, and oh, I understand yeah. that you draw a lot of inspiration from him. Tell me about that and the plans that you have for the future with regard to this particular sport. I mean, you know, Lewis Hamilton does resemble me a little bit. I think he's got <laughs> he's some, the one who resembles yeah, he's got some plastic surgery way. done and stuff so to, to look, look like, like me, you. which is a bit weird, but, but we'll allow it for now. Man. Honestly, like yeah. it's, it's hard to find that nowadays. My goodness. But um, I look up to Lewis a lot. Mm -hmm. I think I look up to him because he he fought the odds to make it into the sport that he does. And you know, he's a minority driver. He's the first black Formula One driver. Mm -hmm. But he was extremely, he came from poverty, you know, and he made it into the sport, only 20 drivers. And I look up to him so much because he did the unthinkable. Mm -hmm. he, he did the impossible and he turned impossible into I'm possible. Mm -hmm. And that empowers me all the time, you know, when I see him, when I see his ethics. Mm -hmm. And I think I don't only look up to him as a, you know, as a racing driver, mm -hmm. but as a human being, I think, a lot of people, whether you watch Formula One or not, you will know the name Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. And that's just because, you know, he contributes and does so much to help society and, and help the sport as well. Uh, that that copying that, is definitely not working. It doesn't fly It's, it's not working. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I believe when he's back at home and actually watching this, he, yeah. he, he knows what to no, do. No, because he follows me very closely. You know? <laughs> Instagram, I mean, every post, it post one second later. Oh my God. Double tap Absolutely him, love you. Yeah. But of course, I have quick fire questions before you it. actually get me into action yes. so the rule is you have to answer with something that comes to the top of your mind okay great are you ready asparagus are you down asparagus let's go yeah okay. how, how do we prepare when oh this is kind of boxing i'm not getting it right yeah let's box yeah. at a okay. racetrack Small okay ideas. there we go so okay. what's the last meal you had before you left the house um yogurt why? I don't know. It was Greek yogurt. Very tasty and I love it. It's a staple. <laughs> What's that one thing you always forget every time you leave the house? Um, My mask. All that, the time. That's <laughs> Every single time. It's not a good thing. But it's if you were in the CBD, you would definitely get caught. But... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But what's that one word you actually overuse so, so much? That I overuse? Yeah. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, I overuse it a Those lot. Those are three words though. Yeah. Oh. My lord. My lord. <laughs> all three. Oh my goodness. Always Favorite food them. that your mom makes. Favorite food that my mom makes, all of it. My mom makes the best food in the world. Mm -hmm. If you tell me anything else, you are completely wrong. And if you say your mom makes better food, you're wrong again. Mm -hmm. Anything she makes is always good. One, one thing you'll definitely be down for when it comes to maybe a weekend or time, uh, fun time with your friends from school. Um, just going out, having fun, mm -hmm. maybe a trip away or journaling, getting it myself, you know, just getting realigned. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's always fun. Mm -hmm. Now we need to get into action. He needs to show me if I can be up to task. I need, I think I need to try out new careers, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, in this day and age, you always need to be on your toes. Yeah. We need to learn new skills. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So am I gonna dress up in that whole thing, or yeah. I'll be your cheerleader and we'll everything? Get you in the suit and we'll see Ooh, what that is so cool. So yeah. you're gonna prepare us for that, and then we're gonna get on the track. Done. We got it. Try to Kazi. See you. So we're finally suited up. I'm thinking I'm wearing about suited two kilos. Suited and booted, yeah. Oh my These goodness. suits are very heavy and very the hot. The heat. Yeah, it's I killing. can't even. Yeah. So now we're finally going to get into action. Going to get into action. Going to yep. get uh, Aziza into a cart mm -hmm. and see if she has what it takes to be a Formula One. Maybe she'll just replace me and you will follow her but on I her journey. But I don't have the looks. 
Yeah. Well, Lewis Hamilton to copy me. That's true. That's yeah. true. But he does a lot of plastic surgery to copy so, me. Maybe he'll change it up. It's, it's good. So we get into action, try it out, and then we can show you how that goes. If I embarrass myself, I'm sorry. You know this is not the job that Very I do. Very likely to happen. I'm, so I'm keep definitely watching. Gonna try. Keep watching. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Turn the Come on. Are you okay? I can. I'm going and I can't it, man. That was very funny. <laughs> We're still filming, say something. I can't do nothing. So we, we crashed over there. I caught that, I caught that in 4K. 4K HD. That is absolutely crazy. Can I hold that? Can I hold that? Don't worry, don't worry. Good there. Let's go take a look at what you've done. Look at this. Right there, champ. I think I definitely tried my best. Is that the professional racing driver Aziza there? <laughs> I literally crashed into a whole pile of sand, man. And we got it on 4K. 4K <laughs> Aziza going completely ballistic. <laughs> Absolutely did not love that experience, but he definitely seemed to be enjoying it. You want to give us a few, a few more rounds? Yeah, 100%. Let's go hit it. All right, but thank you so much for tuning in to Team Republic right here on NTV. Make sure to come in next on the Hangout. As, as I still try to figure out if I can catch this whole thing, I don't even have a driver's license, so you can imagine how that will go. See you next time right here on the Hangout. This is Team Republic. You know, I literally I, I